So this problem is a probability problem using, again, um, experimental data. Um, we want to find out a probability, in this case, the probability of a test result being positive or a condition absent. This problem can be done two different ways. One is, is just to count how many people have a combination of these, and the other way is using the addition formula. I'm going to do the problem both ways. So first we'll start off with the probability of a test result positive or condition absent by just counting. So we've got this probability. So looking up here, there are 110 people that have condition present and positive test results. There's 20 people that have a positive test result and a condition absent. We can look at those 130 people. Then there are 20 people who have the condition absent and 50 people that have the condition absent with a test result negative. We don't want to count these 20 people twice, so what we can just do is count the 110 plus the 20, which gets us 130, plus the 50, which gets us 180. So we get 180 out of 200. You can either leave it like that, you can reduce it, you can make it into a decimal, into a percent, it's up to you. I'm going to leave it just like this. And that's all there is to finding these probabilities with an OR statement. The other way to do this is with um, the addition formula, so let's look at that. So again, we're looking at the probability of a test result positive or the condition absent. So that would be the probability of positive plus the probability of absent minus the probability of positive and absent. So let's go look at the probability of positive. So going back to our table, we um, will look at just being the probability of a test result positive, which means we're looking at these 130 people. So the probability of a test result being positive is 130 out of 200. So we get 130 out of 200. The probability that the um, condition is absent is this column here, which means we're looking at these total 70 people, so 70 out of 200. But the problem is, is that we just counted these 20 people that have both things happening twice. So the AND statement is where these two rows, this row and this column I should say, intersect each other. And so this point right here is where there's the overlap. And we ended up counting those people twice. They were in the 130, and they were in the 70. So if we subtract those 20 out of a 200 off, we will actually get that probability. So we take the 20 out of 200, subtract that off, so we get rid of that overlap that we counted twice. So 130 plus 70 is 200 minus the 20, gives us the 180 out of 200 that we got before. Either way is fine for doing it, either by just counting up what it means to be OR, or by using the addition formula. It's up to you.